Today I do a special video. I always wanted to have a Leica M monochrome because as far as I know these uh, monochrome sensors they are outstanding in terms of sharpness, clarity and they just have better options to capture light. I also think they go up to a higher ISO value than the normal Leica M type 240. I think they go up to 25,600 and um, the last special edition on the Leica M monochrome, which was the Stealth edition, a very black uh, furbished camera with uh, green self-illuminated uh, engravings on the lens and on the camera, that one I unfortunately missed. But just these weeks a new Leica M monochrome special edition hit the market and um, it is limited. Uh, I tried to get this close to my Leica Q2 here with which I'm filming. It is limited to 125 pieces and I managed to get myself number 100. So this is very special. I'm going to open up this now. It actually came with another box, a very big box. I don't even know if I can make this transparent here. It's a very, very big box. And in that box there is supposed to be a leather bag for travel and several pouches for the lenses which are shipped with this Leica M monochrome special edition. So let's get started. So here we go. We have this in C and this is brand new. It's still sealed. So we open it up and we'll see what's in the box. And let's see what we have here. I bring this closer to the camera. So also on the box it says 100 out of 125 pieces. It has uh, the Leica uh, hologram, which shows that this is an authentic box here, an authentic product. And uh, let's see, what else does it say? The Leica M Monochrome Drifter by Kravitz Design. With the Summicron M, 1 to 2, 28 millimeters, and a Summicron M1-275 aspherical. Very nice, I hope you guys can see this in the camera. I want to open this very carefully because probably even the package is very valuable so I don't want to make break something here. And you see I'm very excited about this. This might be the M monochrome I was waiting for for a long time. So far in my Leica portfolio I have uh, the Leica M10 minus P in uh, Safari Special Edition and people who follow me on my channel also know that I own a Leica Q in the Kaki Edition and my Leica Q2 which is the camera with which I'm filming here. Wow! Wow this is beautiful. So first of all here We have a certificate. Let's see what it says here. Let's get this sharp into the camera. Leica M monochrome drifter set with the two lenses which I mentioned before. So it says it's limited to 125 units down here. And we have a serial number uh, for the Leica M body as well as for the two lenses here. Very nice. So that's the certificate. So, and then we open this up. Let's first look what's in here. So that's the usual stuff. We have Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan. You know, I have all that already. I'm a heavy user of Adobe Creative Cloud. We have a guarantee booklet here. There is again the serial number here. So this is this one. Then we have uh, some notes for uh, the special edition, Lenny Kravitz. And uh, there are some specialties on that camera, but I will come to that in a moment when we open the box. Another warranty card. Again, a serial number here. This is for the two lenses, I guess. And then, you know, the usual uh, check cards for two lenses and the body and then a little manual 
This is the manual for the Summicron M1F2, 28mm, that's for the 75 aspherical lens. And then we have the instruction booklet, like always from Leica, for the M body. But I know how the M body works, so that's not the big issue for me. All right. So let's get all these brochures and booklets back into um, the box. I typically don't need them. So let's get this in this box again. Let's get it back into the drawer. And now let's look at the second drawer here, which I assume has, you know, a battery. That will be this one here. Actually nice in these little soft bags here. So here's the battery. I'm going to charge this later and then try the camera out. Going a little bit to Zurich today, downtown, it's Sunday. So seeing uh, how I like image quality and all of that, what do we have here? That I guess is a charger. Yes, here we go. So it's the Leica M series charger for um, M Type 240 series here. It's a classical charger, people know this from other cameras. And then here we have all kinds of cables, I guess. And we'll take out what we need and the rest we leave in the box. So it has, oh, it has all kinds of cables. That's this one here. That's a car charger. So that's what fits into Swiss power plugs here. And then we have, uh, I guess this is the US version here. Quite nice, so if you travel, you don't need that all in terms of adapters. I don't need that typically. I have a car adapter already from other cameras and I also have the US charger. So we put this back in place and get the drawer back here. All right, and now what do we have here? This is the box. This is the box and look how beautiful it is made. Very, very nice. Very nice. So, let's get this opened. Wow, it's quite, quite firm. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I tried to hold this and let's see if the camera updates the focus here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's look at this in detail. So first of all, this is the camera. So let's try to keep this in focus here. It has a different shutter button here. Quite nice. Uh, this is a little bit like a python or a snake skin, but it's all synthetic. So those of you out there who are in animal protection, don't worry. This is all synthetic fabric. There's nothing here which did involve any animals. And uh, also here it has this kind of messing finish, which will get some patina over time, I guess. Then we have, you know, shutter times here. Uh, the usual buttons from the M240 series. And it feels beautiful in the hand. I don't think I can get this closer here without macro mode, but it feels beautiful in the hand. It's absolutely firm in the grip. There is uh, no way that this gets slippy in any way. It's a beautiful texture. Very, very nice. So I like the finish of that camera a lot. It's a small one because it's the old M series. Quite nice. It's very solid, well built. Bottom plate for the battery and SD card compartment. So this is the um, 28 millimeter lens, um, aperture of f2 here, aperturing solidly built like always with Leica and then here the uh, focus ring, quite nice. Range scale here, beautiful. Let's look at this from this side here. Very nice, even here you have that messing type finish. It's consistently on the uh, outside, the appearance of the camera. 
very nice. So here we have the uh, 75 millimeter lens. I haven't had uh, this in my collection so far, 75 millimeters. Quite nice. The finish is exactly the same like, like with the other lens and it's a heavy lens, I can tell you. It's really, really heavy. Quite good. Very nice. We'll see how this all plays out. Also here, f uh, f2.0 is the uh, widest open aperture and that will generate quite nice bokeh on a 75 millimeter focal length of course quite nice very good